This video is about selection and if else statements. It's just an extension on my previous video, which is about selection. So if you haven't seen that already, I suggest you watch that. So I'm going to add the else part and we're going to look at the if else statement. So we're going to go to gcsecs.com, uh, click on that, hover over contact more, click on code editor. Uh, bring this little partition in, trash these comments. Okay, so I'm going to use an if statement. If age is greater than or equal to, let's say, 21, display, uh, you're old, okay? But what happens if you are less than? Well, I'm going to drop that just in an else. Okay, print. Um, you're young. You're a baby. How about that? You're a baby. I'll just put that in the right place. Which is not there, which is there. Okay. So what I have here is some selection code or if statements. If age is greater than 21 or equal to 21, because that's what the comparison operator is, it will display you're old. Uh, otherwise, and we use else, it will display uh, you're a baby. Now, all that remains is for the user to input their age. So to do that, I'll just create a variable called age. And since we express our age as integers, nobody says that I'm 32.3 years old. No, that would be, that's a real, that's a float. If you don't know the difference between a real or a float or an integer, um, you need to watch my video on that. So we're casting, which is uh, what's happening here. We're casting for an int. We're allowing the user to input uh, their age. And we're gonna request, or we're gonna put a string on the screen that just says enter age. Okay, so now when I run the code, it should display enter age. I will enter an age as an integer. That integer will be stored in the variable called age. If whatever's an age happens to be greater than 21, it will display you're old. Otherwise, and that's the else statement here, it will display you're a baby. So let's run the code. I'm gonna go for a little number or a low number like 11, press enter and displays you're a baby, which is absolutely correct because that's less than uh, 21. Let's run it again. In fact, I'm gonna put 21 and it displays you're old. Why? Because that does in fact equal 21. And if I go for 22, yeah, it displays you're old. And if I go for a really, really big number, big integer, yeah, and it still displays you're old. So what we've introduced here is we've extended our understanding of if statements and we brought in this else part, which captures everything else. So we've got if and we've got else. Okay, just to have a go at this task, just to see if you get this understanding. Okay, so here's the task. Explanation. Uh, task one, basic if else statement, old enough to drive. Explanation, the code asks the user to enter their age and then output if the user is old enough or not to drive. So the first thing you need to do is ask the user uh, to ask the user to enter their age as an integer and store their answer in a variable called age. On the next line of code, use selection, which is the if statement, to compare using comparison operators their age, which they just entered, with the number 17. Well, in the UK, 17 is when you're old enough to drive. If the age equals or is higher than 17, display the string, you are old enough to drive. Otherwise, display the string, you are not old enough to drive. So keep this on the screen, pause the video, and then have a go at coding that. I'll give you the answer in three, two, one. Okay, so here's the code that I created for, to solve this. 
and I'll just paste it here. I'll just quickly go through the code. So here's my variable called age, and I'm casting for an integer, and I'm asking the user to input some data into my program, and I'm displaying the string enter your age. So the integer that they enter will be stored in the variable called age. On line four, I'm using selection. If what they entered in age is greater than or equal to 17, it will display you are old enough to drive. If it's lower than 17, then it should display you are not old enough to drive. So let's give that a go, let's see if that works. It says enter your age, three. You are not old enough to drive. Okay, uh, let's try it again, enter your age, 55. You are old enough to drive. Okay, let's just put it on 17 now. So 17, you're old enough to drive. And there we go, that's it. So that's our extended understanding of selection using if else statements.